We hurried down as quickly as we could, but I see you had the situation well in hand. I'm impressed. Not many people can disperse the spirits of the dead with any ease. Uh, these ghosts are a major problem. They grow worse by the day, and I've almost given up hope of finding a solution. My manners desert me. I am Lord Yun, owner of this land and charged by the Emperor himself to keep it safe. Right. You should turn back south to Tien's Landing. This is the safest part of the Great Southern Forest, and even it is polluted with these strange ghosts. Perhaps there's a way I can hear you. Maybe I should go back, to be honest. Help me. That's certainly a kind offer, but I'm not sure that anyone... Wait a moment. You don't look like a pilgrim or one of the poor folk trying to escape Tien's Landing. Would it be out of line to inquire as to what brought you here? I heard that you needed help opening the forest for travel again. Even caravans employing skilled warriors have been forced to turn back under these ghosts' assaults. I could only reach Tien's Landing by using my flyer. Uh, is there any chance you could fly me to the Imperial City? Probably not. It depends on how long you have to spend waiting. My flyer will not return for at least a month, as I knew it would take some time to set matters straight. Unless we can find a way to remove these ghosts, though, I'll be stuck here warning people away from this place until I'm driven out by the dead. Right. It seems I need your wind map to travel north. Indeed, though you would also need a flyer with enough fuel to manage the trip. Those are in precious short supply in this area of the Empire. Then again, you seem resourceful, and I believe resourceful people find ways to get things done. Right. Perhaps you could get something done for me. If so, I might be persuaded to foolishly risk the Lotus Assassin's wrath by making a copy of one of their precious maps. What do you propose? The deal is simple. Find out why my land sickens, why it is home to so many ghosts, and you will have your map. All right. Two things threaten the entire length and breadth of this forest. The trees blacken with disease, and ghosts flock to this place like no other in the Empire. I suspect that these things are related, and, more importantly, that they're related to a fox called the Forest Shadow. Okay, who is the Forest Shadow? She is a powerful spirit that has long been an ally of my family. Personally, I've had little to do with her. My father and his father before him, however, felt strongly that she should be revered. They considered her the true guardian of this forest. Uh... What do you mean by a fox? Just that. She is a fox spirit, and thus one of heaven's tricksters. The fox can take on the forms of men and women and will often do so to test us. Personally, I don't think they have any right to deceive us, but my father felt that our family's good fortune came from just such a test passed long ago by an ancestor. Right, so this is probably Some a test. Some sort of ancient alliance in which she was guardian of the forest while we owned the land in the world of men. Uh, why do you think the ghost are related to the spirit? She is a powerful being. One my father considered the guardian of this forest. If this place is filled with ghosts, then I suspect that it is either because of or in spite of her. Well, that doesn't mean anything. It's either because of or in spite of her. That doesn't... that doesn't narrow down the options at all. I think something is wrong with the forest shadow and I want you to find her and figure out what is happening. Once we know that, we'll have a clear idea of what we face. Right. 
If she is an ancient ally of yours, I'm sure she'll want to help if I can find her. A noble sentiment, but when I look upon these trees, I'm afraid that you may have to destroy her. See what you can learn first, then we will act if it is necessary. Make your way up this ancient trail, and when you come to a fork, take the left path. That will lead you to a temple built long ago in the Forest Shadow's honor. Right. Once there, find my hunter Spearcatch's leaf, if he still lives. He claimed to remember some sort of ritual that my forebearers used to contact the Forest Shadow. You might also want to keep an eye out for some small shrines that are scattered about the forest. Some of them are said to react to magic or charges of chi. Right. Okay. I was beginning to think there may be no cure for this place. Your arrival has given me some small measure of hope. Find Spear Catch's leaf at the temple above and see what he has learned. Your wind map will be waiting when you find a cure. Okay, so this is like a whole new area. And uh, we're probably not supposed to be here yet. I'm just going to turn back and do the other thing first. I mean, that enemy was probably more powerful than we are supposed to be able to deal with at this point in time. Alright, let's, let's go back. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the game lets you do it. It just doesn't give you any warning at all that you shouldn't. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Let's, let's close the dam first. So we need a wind map, and then we need to get a flyer. What are you... Who? What? Greetings, stranger. I noticed you speaking with Minister Sheng. I wonder if I could have but a moment of your time, okay? Who are you? I am Merchant Jack Wine Cellar. I serve the community by entertaining these sailors trapped in our town. I need the help of someone with a steely eye and a steady hand. You're the wine cellar. You're making them drunk, and when they get drunk, they punch people. What sort of help do you need? How much, how, exactly how much are you selling your wine for? It seems to be you're making a killing of the situation. What sort of help do you need? This is an excellent time to be a wine merchant. The sailors trapped in our town were on the river for quite some time and they have saved up massive amounts of silver. They've made me a rich man, but they still have much silver to spend, and I have a large supply of wine to last many moons before my stock runs run dry. I saw you speaking with Mr. Sheng, worthy one. I suspect he asked you to go out to the Great Dam and close it, am I right? Uh, do you have a proposition or not? I like the way you come right to the point. It shows that you are strong and decisive. I will answer the same way. I do not want you to close the Great Dam. If the Great Dam closes, the water level rises and those sailors will float away with all their silver. It would be a rid ridiculous waste of a golden business opportunity. Your town is dying. So, uh, if any of you attempted to, you know, take the money and let the town die, I will clarify for you that if the town is dead, there's nothing for you to do with the silver. You know what I mean? It's like, if you can make a lot of money from destroying an entire city... Okay, you get the money, but what are you going to spend the money on if the whole city is destroyed? You see what I mean? So it doesn't actually work out. I want you to destroy the controls of the Great Dam, leaving it forever open. Then there will be no danger of some adventurer coming by and closing it. This is so stupid. And what happens when you run out of wine? You know what I mean? Uh... I'm not going to doom this entire town. Why me? What will you give me if I do this? What will you give me if I do this? You cannot be seriously considering this. Dooming the entire town for a few pieces of silver? I, I want to know what he'll give me. I hope you have more determined self-interest than your companion here. I believe that everything has a value and I place a value on your actions. If you perform this service for me, I'll pay you 20% of my profits to date. Rest assured, it's a very substantial sum. No, not enough. Uh, what if I expose your plan? 
We have no proof I asked you to do this. I just, it's just my word against yours. Who will they believe? A stranger new to town or a respected merchant? Uh, I want no part of this. Move out, I'll do it. I'll help enough for the silver. This town will be made stronger if it survives this crisis. No, it won't. It'll just die. Uh, no. No need to rush to a decision. Just keep it in mind. If you destroy the controls, bring me some proof and I'll happily honor my word. 20% of my profit to date, remember that. Or, you know, I can kill you. I can do that. Alright, let's go over there and close the dam. I still don't know if this cook actually serves any purpose. So what we need to do is go to the ruins and find my amulet piece. And uh, in the process, I can either destroy the town or save it, pretty much. Well, this has already become an educational trip. From what you discussed with Hui, it would seem we are indeed tied to important events. I have concerns as well. Hui convinced me that your master is the glorious strategist. Tell me, Don't Star, what are your earliest memories with him? Your question would be better directed at his favorite student. She was at the school for three years before I arrived. She is correct about that. I was with him the longest. Yes, Zhu, I am far more deserving of your attention. What? <laughs> Why would you? She's correct. I was with him the longest. No, he doesn't want to know about the strategy. He wants to know about you, Don't Star. We'll focus on you quite a bit by the time we are done, given the Spirit Monk connection. But I asked Don Star what she remembers. Yes. The only thing I know about my life before coming to the school is that I was not wanted, probably because of the bad omens I was born under. Bad omens? What makes you think that? You said you don't know anything. I know because of my name. It's one of the few details Master Lee was told. I was named for a red glow opposite the morning sun, like a distant... a distant fire. Like the burning of dirge that Shui just mentioned. Are you trying to claim that she was a dirge as well, Zhu? Like the burning of dirge that Shui just mentioned. Yes, I guess so. I wasn't there, of course. No one but you survived. I guess someone saw it, but I don't know where Dirge is or how far the fire was visible. It fits the time, but that just confirms my thoughts about being born under a bad omen. What could be worse than this attack on Dirge and the Water Dragon? Oh, she's the Water Dragon. If that is the most troubling thing you learn about your birth. Consider yourself lucky. Is she the Water Dragon? Cause... Cause the Water Dragon was killed when Dirge fell, and, we, and, and in this world, things that die are reincarnated. So Dawnstar might be the Water Dragon, reincarnated. Also, Zoo is wearing half a shirt. Like, you, you see this, right? He's wearing half a shirt. Where's the other half of your shirt, Zoo? Is that the whole shirt? Like, nobody dresses like this in real life. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wearing pants, she's not wearing pants, he's wearing half a shirt. It's so weird, like everyone else in the game, like all the other characters in the game, all the NPCs, wear historically accurate clothing. And then the main characters don't. Alright, here we are again. So there's supposed to be ghosts and assassins down here? What is that? Is that a giant rat? What is that? Um... What are those guys doing? They're just looking... The search goes too slowly. We need more eyes and hands in these ruins. Oh crap, that's an assassin. Listen well, my minions. Fan out and search behind every stone and under every rock. 
Somewhere in these ruins are gems. Very special gems. If you find one, bring it to me right away. If you fail me, your torment will be greater than any you have yet experienced. Now go! Mice. Giant mice. That walk on two legs. Lieutenant, you are in charge while I go up to the Great Dam and check on the sentry golems. If anyone tries to enter these ruins, kill them. Sentry golems. Of course, Dread One. All right, we're gonna kill those guys apparently because they're gonna try and kill me. Let's hope this is easier than the last fight. Hi guys. Let's you have your orders. Longsword. No one can enter the ruins. Uh, kill the intruder. Uh, Legendary strike. All right, that was, that's easy. That's much easier. Gem of Thief Sense. Gem of Thief Sense. Spirit plus one allows the wielder to detect traps. Well, maybe I should swap these two. Maybe it's better to detect them than to blow them up. All right, earn. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just saw it. I clicked it and then I saw the red glow. So what happens if you find a trap? Like what happens? Assassin supplies. Dragon powder? What is dragon powder? Bones. 95 bucks. Bones. Inferior Charm Gem What is- oh this is a uh, restore things Hey monkeys Alright so there's the health fountain Let's just make sure we've grabbed everything Before we continue and this is a statue. And this is monkeys. There's no loot. Alright, let's keep going. So can I like disarm the traps if I detect them? Is that a ghost? What is that thing? Oh. Yes, help me. Rat Demon knows things, important things, and Rat Demon tells you if Rat Demon lives. Sure, tell me. Tell me what you know. Why should I trust a demon? I don't need you to die. No, that's a rat. Look at it, it's so cute. Tell me what you know. I knows hitting Rat Demon not good. Hitting Rat Demon bad. I also know that Rat Demons like the taste of ducks. If you got any ducks. Ducks. I don't have any ducks. You know, like ducks? Uh, no ducks! Uh, but maybe you like gems! Rat Demon feels gem is very close. Rat Demon tells you where gem is, then you let Rat Demon live! Yes? Sure. How can you sense this gem? Gem is special! Gem is magic! Gem is near, but gem is hidden! You let Rat Demon live, I'll tell you where to find gem. Sure. Tell me. Gem is hidden behind wool! Go down path and you see! Assassins got rockets set up! They're getting ready to blow up wall with rockets! Go down path... So I should use the rockets to blow up the wall. Yes! Yes! But rockets need dragon powder! Lotus Assassins always got dragon powder handy! Good for blowing stuff up! Look around their camp and you find it! Alright, so I already found some gunpowder. So simple! Oh, yes! Crap. Rat Demon help you! Now Rat Yeah, get out of here. Thanks to you! My friend, good and kind and niceful friend to Rat Demon! I just missed a line of dialogue, so I don't know... I don't know what I missed. 